for we are to God the fragrance of Christ. Second Corinthians 2 verse 15. Hello everybody and welcome. Again, my name is Tokwe. If you're new to this channel, here we have fragrance reviews, fragrance tips, fragrance hauls, everything fragrance in general. So if that's something you like, click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and yes, you're part of us. Today in the video, I got sent some tester um, bottles from a fragrance company that is on Instagram. I bought from them a couple of times, and then she just got in these new fragrances, and then she thought, she wanted my opinion on it. So I thought that, okay, whilst I was going to look at it, why don't I film and then share with you? So that's what we're going to do today, talk about this new fragrance. So without much ado, let's get into the video. Welcome back. We're going to go straight into the video. There's no talking. Um, also, I just wanted, there's going to be some little talking. If you, the giveaway is still on, so please, the giveaway video is going to be in the description box. Go onto the video, watch it, and then partake. It's going to end by the end of July. So be well to partake. So yes, straight into it. The first fragrance here is, so the house. The house that is in question is called um, Aurora Scent. It is a new East um, house. It's a United Arab Emirates house, but they make their fragrances from France, Spain, Italy. And then um, it's called Aurora House. Aurora scent, so the house of Aurora, Aurora scent, and um, they have been in the market since 2016. Their latest creation was in 2016, and the earliest that they have had is in 2020. So, um, the noses behind it is usually mainly Lorenzo de Moisici and then MH Risashi. I hope I got the names right. So those are usually the main notices behind the brand. The, so the first fragrance here is Black Rouge. This is it right here, Black Rouge, as you can see. And this one, it's a tester. So as usual, this one doesn't come with a box or a cover. This is how it looks like. I'm going to insect here how the, the real bottle looks like. It's a pretty bottle. Let's just go into the scent. Okay, so this is, it's nutty. It reminds me, it's very nutty. And I smell some almonds straight on the back. There's, excuse me, it's quite strong. I smell almonds. So I think that um, it smells very similar to Girl of Now because of the nuttiness, but it's not as sweet as Girl of Now. It's just very similar to it, but this is much more full bodied. It has, it has more vanilla and tanker bean in this one. I smell a lot of balsamicness to it. And I, I mean, if you can look at the color of the juice, you would know that it's very, so it's a very rounded, nutty, there's some floral notes in it like jasmine is there so you can smell you can smell some neroli in it too so it's very it's very nice it's very full bodied it's what i think about this fragrance is that if you're one that like girl of now but you don't like the sweetness of it this is a good one for you it's very nice. She hasn't shared the prices with me yet. I, I went online, but I couldn't really get prices on the website of Aurora Scent. So I will, maybe when I'm editing this video and I've been able to get prizes, I would insect them. But if you don't find prizes, it means I haven't been able to. I probably will do a follow-up video giving you the prizes. I haven't done a wear test on this at all. Just the first impressions, I spritz it around a bit. I haven't been feeling very well, like I said. So I haven't been able to... Um, Take the fragrance for a spin please comment below and tell me if sometimes when you're not feeling well you're just not in the mood for fragrances that's what i have been and what is surprising is that the scents that i usually said they were non-performing they were no not beast mode fragrances i find myself leaning towards those scents more so that's why i'm so this one black rouge it's a nutty balsamic white floral fragrance it's very nice so if you like that kind of a thing this one is a fragrance for you the next one is it came in a box it's here it's white so i know that it may be washed up if i check and it's washed i'll put up a, the picture here so it's aurora 
it's called Adore. It has Aurora and then it has Adore Parfum on it. And this is how it looks from the bottle like this. Let me come close. Very nice bottle like that. So let's go to the scent. Wow, it has a great atomizer. Oh, that's beautiful. This is um, it's like um, a citrus, white, floral, bright. It has a bit, I don't know, it, it smells citrus, woody, white, floral. I think it has some amber in it. So it's like, I smell something like orange blossoms, bergamot, some citrus or lemon or bergamot, maybe mandarin in there. And then it has some orange blossom, maybe some jasmine too. And then it's very citrusy white floral and amber so that's what it is it's a very nice this is like for me how this smells is the kind of fragrance that could be a signature scent if you're one that wants something it's it's, it's an everyday yeah citrus amber slightly sweet slightly slightly sweet if, if you're looking for a signature scent, wet scent, this is very nice. I haven't done a wet test on any of these, but just how generally that they perform. And again, like I said, I don't have the price. She didn't send me prices. I tried to get the prices online. So I, if I find the prices before I edit, I will put it. But this is a very nice, easily wearable, everyday scent kind of fragrance. If you're looking for something to just to throw on you know spray on you and just go around this is like the fragrance it's very nice i like it um the only thing is that this smells like um it's mass appealing so it's the kind of fragrance that everybody will like the the dna of this fragrance is not very unique it's it's what you would find in a lot of fragrance so you know a lot of people like safe fragrance so this is like a safe fragrance it's one that's safe it's one that um you would find in a lot of fragrances it's it's a very nice I see this becoming like a work fragrance, an everyday fragrance. It, it, it's non-offensive. It's not the kind of fragrance that's polarizing. So other people might have issues with it. No, people wouldn't have issues with it. So if you like that kind of fragrance, Adore is nice. It's good. It's the fragrance for you. The next one is, um, sorry, I was opening it. It's um, Vestal. It's Aurora 2. It's called Vestal. This is it. The box is very nice. It has these um, detailing around the box, black with gold, and then around here. And then the door is here. And then it says fragrance made in France underneath. Hope you can see it. Oh, nice. So this is how this one looks. It looks a bit different. The bottle has a, a gold and black cup. The cup is it's plastic. It's a plastic cup. It's not anything let me again a very good atomizer okay so this it's salty it's a salty it smells salty so it's, I smell salt from the back this is a very salty fragrance yeah it's salty fruity more like salty berry it's a salty salt and berry kind of fragrance that's what it is salty and berry it smells very similar to Mugler's Humanity or even like it's like a mix of Humanity and Paco Rabanne's um, Olympia that kind of a thing so this is like a beachy fragrance salty if you like the salty um, kind of fragrance beachy salty a little it doesn't have vanilla it has some kind of a raisin that is bind, binding it but not vanilla i don't smell no it doesn't have a vanilla undertone it has a raisin in it that holds it so it could be any maybe some benzoin in it but it gives it slight comfort but it's very light it's a salty it dries very very salty smell salts from this this is a salt fragrance a salt based fragrance it smells very very nice it's i'm not a fan of salt based fragrances i have to be very honest i think the that's why i prefer the um, olympia 
Antons to the original Olympia because of the fact that if the salt is too much, it becomes a bit nauseating for me. So I don't, this one is not the best for me, but if you are, it's not one of my favorites from the line. But if you're a lover of salt, you'll like it. It's a salt-based fragrance. It's it's like a summer. This is like a summer thing. Summer, you throw on, not even just summer, but I think this is specifically for the beach. If you're going to the beach, it's a very good beach fragrance because it's salt-based. So, you know, you just throw it on going into the seawater and all that. So it's very nice. It's salt-based and it has berries in it. It's a salt base with berry. Yeah. And some raisin, maybe benzoin in it. I couldn't get... The reason why I'm speculating most of these notes is that I went on fragrance. Even though they say they have um, nine fragrances, I could only get the notes breakdown for like seven or six there. So most of what I have here, they may be their latest collection and have yet not been cataloged and curated into Fragrantica. So I couldn't get everything on it. But at this point, I'm going with my nose and my skin. So yes, that's for Vestal. It's a salt base. It's a nice fragrance, I would say. But um, yeah, the, it has, it's nice. It's nice. It's okay. The next one that I'm going to go is um, Papillon. Papillon is butterfly in French. So this is it. Um, I think um, the last two, I think they are like the regular of the brand or the least expensive points of the brand. And then these ones are like the high ends of the brand. Because if you look at the logos on these ones, they are a bit different from the logos of this one. So I think this one with the crest and the lion and everything is like the uh, high-end one. And then the papillon, the one that says Aurora Scents with a simple um, logo is the high-end one. Well, this is a beautiful bottle. So this is how this bottle looks like. It's very nice. It has like a gradient feel to it. The, the cover is purple, but in the bottle, it comes down with a gradient and there's a bowl that has a rhinestone on it. It's a nice bottle. <laughs> Difficult to open. Whoa, good atomizer on them, I must say. Oh, this is nice. So this is, um, it's a berry. I smell some like strawberry in it. So it's a berry fragrance. It's a very light berry fragrance with some citrus in it. And then some sandal or cedarwood. I'm sorry, because of my not being too well sometimes when i spray fragrances they make me sneeze immediately but i'm getting better so yes so this is nice okay i don't have fragrance here i just trying to find why i didn't have fragrance so i can see what it does on my skin yes yeah, so okay so this is a berry citrus fragrance it's it feels like um some like um how do i explain that so if you like the body bath kind of fragrances victoria's secret body mist kind of fragrances you know there's some fragrances that have that freshness of a body mist kind of thing this is how this smells so it's a it's a fruity it's a berry floral maybe with some violet flowers in it very nice it's it has and then it dry, it dries down to some kind of a woodiness there's a bit of maybe a sandal wood or an, some cedar wood some very light not so woody very ever so slight woodiness to it that's very beautiful if you want it's this is definitely a summer fragrance a fruity beautiful it's not very sweet not at all sweet it doesn't have any form of sweetness to it but it's just a berry fragrance that's very nice light it's this one is like um i feel like it would be good for a younger audience, a younger generation, people that like that kind of brightness, though it's not sweet. So I feel like an older age can pull it off good like that, but it's very citrus. It's very pretty. It's, it's nice, girly, a bit flirty, but it's not sweet. None of these fragrances have a sweetness to it. It's not sweet at all. So if you're a lover of sweet figure, I, I don't know about the other ones, but none of the ones that I've gotten here is sweet. They're just nice, lovely fragrances. The last one that I have is a male. It's, you know that I don't believe that fragrances have sex, but this one I think is marketed towards the male. It's called Epic Oud. This box and presentation reminds me of Amouage. 
it, it reminds me so much of Amouage. And that's the thing about some of these UAE brands is that I don't like how they try to copy other brands and not stay true to themselves. But it's fine. So this is it. This is how it looks like. It's called Epic Oud. So obviously there's Oud in it. So let me... My husband liked this particular one, the Zephyr Wood, because, yeah, so it's, um, it's a very smoky, sweet, woody fragrance with um, a light amber base. So it's a smoky, woody fragrance with a light amber base. The wood here is not very pungent at all. I think that this is very good for anyone that is probably, this was my least favorite. Of all of them i must say but if you're somebody that's new to because i have other oud fragrances that i enjoy more than this so i but my husband liked it because it's a very light and very mild oud so if you're a lover of oud that is not very you, you you're, you're not getting into oud and you don't want to like do too much this is like a great oud fragrance for you it's mild it's beautiful it's a good oud fragrance it's a place to start like i said to you i haven't I don't have the price yet, so I will either while editing if I get the prizes, I will send the prizes out and then I'll let you know. Um, yeah, so I'm done with them. Overall, I'll say that my favorite, the one that I really liked was Aurora. This one. Let me show you the white floral one. Yeah, Aurora, this one. The white floral one. I like this one. The one that I said was a signature scent because it's 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 very easy to use. It's going to be like um, an easy reach fragrance that could do for, you know, the days when you're not sure of what to use. And then my second favorite was this one, the Black Rouge and then Papillon. The one with the purple bowl would be my third. If I should put them, was this and then... I have Vista, the sea salt, between the sea salt one and the oud. I don't know because um, I probably will put the oud before the sea salt because I don't really like sea salt fragrances. I like them, but it's surely a hit or miss for me. It has to be a certain way. It doesn't, I, there's no middle lines for them. So we've come to the end of the video. If you have not already liked this video, go ahead and like this video. Thank you so much for the support and love I've been getting. And if you're not already subscribed at this point, please click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. And then don't forget to comment in the comment section. I'll see you in my next video as usual. Thank you. Stay safe and stay centered. Bye-bye.